Slain and Armin often finds himself packing things people tend to need at the last minute, like printer cartridges, nappies or charger connections. But an increasing number of customers are turning to Amazon for their daily shopping needs too. Yeah, this bag's fairly typical, because it's got the kind of things your average consumer normally buys in a supermarket. Amazon's out to target city dwellers like those with long working hours or mothers without cars. It's even rented a distribution center in the middle of Berlin, a company first. Obviously we have minimum requirements, we need dry storage space where we can store groceries properly, where we can install coolers and deep freeze facilities. That means we have to cut down the possibilities. But places like that are available, you just have to find them. The actual decision involves many factors. Not all products kept in Amazon's main distribution center are available here. But if they're on hand, they can be delivered quickly. A surcharge ensures a customer gets their order inside an hour. Dispatchers monitor the traffic situation to avoid traffic jams. Location is very important from a logistics point of view. It means we can operate from the city centre into the broader suburbs so that we can cover the largest possible area and reach customers in the north, south, the east and the west. Amazon also wanted to open a distribution centre on the ground floor of this office complex in Hamburg's St. Georg district. But delivery traffic would have come and gone via the residential area behind the buildings. Faced with a massive increase in road traffic, residents shot down the proposal. This is a purely residential area. The speed limit's 30 kilometers an hour with very narrow streets. On top of that, we've got child daycare care centers, retirement homes, a blind person's trust. It's the last place you want delivery traffic. Amazon argues that in Berlin, it uses electrically driven bicycle transport wherever it can. As cyclists, we basically take traffic off the roads. We sort of steer the logistics complex into the green zone. But only partly. Just one third of deliveries here arrive by bike. Vans are used to supply customers living further afield.